Thank you for tweeting out the stream, Bookworm. And now we're back to playing Pokemon Violet. Well, there's only one place to go. I can only go here or just go back to the classroom. <laughs> there's only one real place to go. I gotta talk to the prick again. I wanna go kick his ass. I really just wanna kick his ass. Can I kick your ass? <laughs> oh hey, so we meet again. You remember me, right? Oh, hold on. Yeah? I guess. I do know. No. Okay, go get shut the gate, but can you check on periodically for me? Yeah. Because he's been down there whining for some reason. Alright. Okay. I'll check on him. Sorry about that, someone came in the room. I don't think we've met. Yes, let's be an asshole. What? Come on, I gave you Moradian's Pokeball. Did I forget to introduce myself? Well, the name's Arvin. No need to tell me your name. Aaron, right? The whole school seems to be talking about you. A new kid who showed up with up with the president of the student council. I not only wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today. Just to talk with you, our new celebrity. You've got to help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. What's this dream first? <laughs> Cut your interest, have I? Have to hear all about my dream, right? No. Well, this might be a surprise, but the fact is, I'm all about picnic life, the great outdoors. Perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. That is a sad dream, just to make perfect picnics. <laughs> That's all you want in the Pokemon world, is just make a perfect picnic. picnic. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right now, I'm searching new recipes that will help Pokemon feel better. Real health food, food see? I found this book the other day and it had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Basically, there are some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. And there, are, there are a total of five different types of Herba Mystica based on what I read. Just taking a little lick of them once they've been powder will get your blood flowing. Provide nutrients, prevent aging, and it'll even boost the immune system. These herbs seem like the real deal, only found here in Paldea, and rare to boot. Is this why Ash never ages? They just he just eats these herbs every day. Is that why he never ages? Is this why? <laughs> The book says that they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon, meaning that it's going to be pretty tough to grab, to try and grab even a few sprigs. Because, see, Titans are, well, I think they're gotta be things like this. Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further in Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wandered in these compact cool beasts, or indeed Pokemon at all, one of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast out and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for a time. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan, 
It had differences such as its texture and the way it moves suggest it's biologically separate. To say nothing of it treads of iron. I really want to get those herbs myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. Yeah, I know, whooped your ass. Don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either. Never, never heard the end of it when I was calling to that student council girl. But here, you, what's up? You've got to help me out with this. You'll be perfect. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna stop being an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> No, wait, I don't need an answer yet. I'll just rush through the places where it seems there might be Titans in your map at for you. Oh, he's got a nice looking phone. It's the gay phone. It's the gay phone. He has a gay phone, I want a gay phone. Well, not a gay phone. I want an ace phone. <laughs> Let it stew a bit, and we can get more into the details later. And in the meantime, take this. A little gift for listening at all. Ooh, I have pair of stars. Ooh, that gives me a lot of money. Give the idea some serious thought, please. So that's it for that. What's up, what's up? This is Aaron Bright, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I can talk to you. Hope you don't mind. What do you mean, hacked? Well, as far as you're concerned, it means I'm basically in control of your phone right now. My name's Cassiopeia. But never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, Arian Bright. You know about Team Star, right? Yes. Great, appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some Academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. But I need allies to carry out this operation, and I'd like you to be one of them. Sure, whatever. I need to reply in a second. We can discuss the details some other time. Till then, I'll leave it you to it. Bye. Ah, uh, Miss Bright. Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? I'm mute in this game. I can't speak. What the fuck are you talking about? My mouth has yet to move. Excuse me? <laughs> or sir you don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information after all honestly there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age oh on you go then young lady Team Star, you say? I have a feeling he's part of Team Star secretly. Calling Miss Aaron Bright to the director's office, please. Once again, Miss Aaron Bright to the director's office, please. What did I do? You know, this kind of actually looks like the Wonders Library.
Director's office. <laughs> you were a bad student. <laughs> and we're just really special. Probably. Thank you for coming, Miss Aaron Bright. <laughs> Have you been enjoying your time here at U UVA Academy? So you... So have you caught a palmy yet? And if so, have you named it MUI? <laughs> no, I killed it. Because Dragon was... It kept saying a lot to... Ki uh, don't uh, to spare it. So I immediately, instinctually killed it. <laughs> that is most wonderful to hear. Now, you may be wondering why we would not have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria. But let me assure you, there is a reason why I asked you to meet me here in my office. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. Who? Oh. Oh no, I'm afraid they're not actually here in the room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. It's the professor! Hello, Aaron Bright. It's nice to meet you. My name is Professor Turo. I carry out Pokemon research within the Great Crater of Paldea. As a site known as Area Zero. That is... That is indeed a crater. The professor is, in fact, a graduate of our time of our fine academy, as well as a splendid researcher. Well, allow me to get straight to the point. Aaron Bright, student ID number 805C393. Well, thanks for revealing it on stream, asshole. You are the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Riotodon, is that correct? Yes. Thank you, I appreciate that you're honest with in confirming the facts. Uh, not that I- I do not mean to offend you, in fact. I just- I wish to ask for your assistance. With what? <laughs> yes, bring straight with an asshole. It's an asshole. Oh, how good to see that you are well. It has been quite a while since we last met. Oh, hi, Hatchet. Bitch. We get to see the professor. The professor? I mean, god damn it. I ended up taking longer in the shower than I meant to, and now my brain hurts. <laughs> Ouch. Mariadon was once in my care, you see. This Pokemon was oh. also- oh, sorry. Were you about to say something? Oh. I- I see. This man is obviously Professor Taco. <laughs> it's Pokeball was also originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin. I know I'm no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. Wait, I just realized his suit that he's wearing matches the Pokemon. I saw that immediately. You're cool. just now realizing that? How long has this character been on screen? Like, literally just 30 seconds. It, you, it, I just recently met the character. Oh, okay, it wasn't 30 seconds, because I saw that you were talking to him before this. Right, yeah. Because I, I saw Twitch. Maybe, Twitch. like, a minute or two. So, and I've been like mainly just reading, so I haven't been paying attention to the character. That's okay. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> Profess 
This is Professor Giga Chad, apparently. <laughs> this is what I would ask of you. Will you continue looking after Maridon on my behalf? God damn it! I'm being Mirai forced Dawn. to. I I like Maridon better. But where are you? Where are you getting the extra D? Don't worry about it. Don't worry it, about do, it. Do you think it's called an Iguanadon? Instead of an Iguanadon? A Megadodon? I'm instead saying of a Megalodon? Huh? I'm saying Mariadon. I'm not saying 2Ds. It's... I could have sworn I heard you saying Mariadon. No, Mariadon. <laughs> Unless I, like, stuttered a bit and actually said two Ds, but, like, it's, I- That's what I heard. I probably stuttered. It, okay. But, yeah, I've been, I've been calling it Mariah Dawn. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone says he looks like the Giga Chad meme. Yeah. Hatch, I've been asked to not only do Pokemon gems, beat up a bunch of really big Pokemon to steal herbs, go after Team Star, and now I'm being asked to watch over this legendary. What the fuck? <laughs> Just another day in the life of Dr. Bright as a child. No wonder you got hired to the... No wonder you got hired to the SCP Foundation. You seem like... You're, you're apparently the most skilled multitasker on the planet. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you... So yeah, you actually... So you actually did like the agents I created? Yeah. I decided to make all my team just be anomalous people. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, uh, I mean, I'm guessing they're anomalous people. I don't know too many people who can electrify their entire body and use it for the hell of <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Toast can do that. We should ask Toast. Can I do that? <laughs> can you electrify your body? <laughs> Could be so actually confused. no, I think actually no, I think the corrosion power sounds more like toast. Because they ruin everything. <laughs> oh my god, that's no. so mean. <laughs> that's stupidly mean. Yeah. Anyway. I'm just joking around. I don't actually hate toast. Also This uh, is all good button. I saw an SCP meme. That's I'm gonna say it's my beginning worse, even though it's not the game stream. Alright. This is from SCP 6222. Species. One Homerus. Gamerus, aka the European Lobster, Prime, Hate Speech. Notes, a post-it note was found on a play card labeled, This one's a racist, Jim. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> what? <laughs> so We're charging... We're charging lobsters for hate speech now? Yes. And yet we still can't charge Donald Trump. <laughs> no. But we're char we're wasting our time on charging lobsters with hate speech? Yeah. Uh fucking hell. Though so after this segment from doing with Do uh, Professor Turo, I gotta have to check on the dogs. Make sure they're okay. So you'll have to entertain the stream. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> anyway, I do appreciate your agreement. Mariadon is greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battle. It can, however, take a form specialized for, for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain its cap capabilities it once had. I almost said capabilities. <laughs> it's capabilities. You see, like this, this Pokemon, its special moon is bullshit, and it just starts spewing bullshit everywhere because it's a capabilities. <laughs> starts lying about where the imposter was. Fucking piece of shit, third imposter ass. The A cab abilities. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's not an A cab abilities. <laughs> That's based. <laughs> a cab. Every stream of mine at least has one meme. 
in it. Or it's a capybara ability. Yeah. He just has capybaras in his back pocket. Yeah. Large mouse. Yeah. I won't also, oh. he's been on a TV screen this whole time. Yeah, he's not even in person. He's in a giant crater. I thought I thought you were just in a separate classroom talking to him. No, he's on the TV in a giant crater. Okay. Very good. Very good. Giant crater. Him. Very good. Yeah. Anyway, I will provide you with my contact information. If you would please get out your phone. <laughs> I read that as if you would please get out of here. <laughs> I, I will be in regular contact going fo forward to keep tabs on your status. Isn't it a bad idea for a child to have an adult's number? <laughs> for no not reason. Well, not necessarily if they're a trusted adult. And this guy's obviously got some credentials here. Some. Well, I mean, he's literally... <laughs> You're, I'm assuming he's a friend of the fucking principal. Maybe. Considering that no. he, he helped you get in contact with him, judging by the fact that the principal is standing right next to you. No, I, all, all the principal said is that he was a graduate from the academy. They never said they were friends. Oh, well. <laughs> that's a little more concerning, but also, uh, Pokemon. Yeah. I don't know. Just, let's continue. CPS. I don't want to think about this. I'm sorry. <laughs> he is good at being stiff cardboard cutout. <laughs> Until then. He just walks off Erica, screen. Why did he walk <laughs> off the TV screen? Okay. Oh, God. How did I... Okay, so for, for those who weren't here when it happened, uh, we changed Clavicle's voice. Uh, to be a very flamboyant gay man because the voice I was doing hurt Jiri's head. Oh, oh wait, so... he did say it was a friend? Oh, I must have missed that when I was reading. Okay. Okay. So, how, how did I do this character? So, I gotta start with Cindy, and then I pitch shift it. Yeah. I pitch shift my Cindy voice. Could this Pokemon have origins within Area Zero? Taco. <laughs> My brain. Taco. Don't tell me you actually did it. Did, is this I'm, a man-made Pokemon again? This is meant to be ominous, but actually, I think my hyper gay voice is taking away from the ominousness. <laughs> well, it seems that professor that the professor is asking quite the favor of you. But of course, the academy is always here to support you in any way we are able. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life. Together with that, uh, the, the, that riot on. Uh, 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 I'm dead inside. <laughs> that, that's that's the name of the Pokemon. I'm dead inside. <laughs> Take good care of that. I'm dead inside. <laughs> it's what gonna get though? really tedious to say, but we have to keep doing it. <laughs> All right, hatch it. Uh, I'm gonna leave it on this screen. Uh, wait, look, Mariah turned into a motorcycle. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, he said... <laughs> Wait, and he said... He said that it could had, like, a mobility-based form, but I didn't expect this. <laughs> turned into a motorcycle. He just turns into a goddamn chopper? Okay, that's it. We're calling him Chopper. <laughs> anyway... That I, way I can say... That way I can have the flamboyant gay man say, Get to the chopper. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'll be right back. I just gotta check on the dogs. Okay. How's, uh, how's, how's chat doing? How's, how's the people, peepos doing? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not good at entertaining chat, I think. 
it has been in all the pre-release footage. Well, I'm guessing Bright didn't watch the pre-release footage, and I most certainly didn't watch the pre-release footage. For, for context, Red Joker, if you weren't here when I said this, I have absolutely no investment into the Pokemon series besides things that I... Besides porn. I just remembered the child's not here. <laughs> for some reason, the other legendary has wheels, but just runs on all fours. What the fuck? So these games theme is legendaries that are also vehicles. You back, Bright? Yep. So apparently Red Joker has informed me that apparently uh, the chopper being a chopper uh, was in all of the pre-released footage pretty much. Oh yeah, it was. I so I knew. I just want to see oh, your you reaction. Knew? I wanted to see your oh, reaction. Oh god damn it, you piece of shit. <laughs> you fucking you fucking you fucking lying ass. <laughs> fucking deceiving me. I wanted to oh, see yeah, your reaction. Yeah, get Oh, hell yeah. I get to voice pneumonia again. <laughs> Ugh. Fuck you. Hello! Excuse me! Oh, you still here, Aaron? Oh. Getting called in the director's office? How'd you land in that much trouble already? How'd you li oh. Nah, I'm kidding. I know it wasn't like that. Okay, if I swear, if I could actually do one more thing, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> Dr. Ellen Blight, I have something very important to ask you. Shut up. Will you- will you take care of my child with me? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Where did the child come from? <laughs> I had them yesterday. They came out of rock. You had a child with a rock? No, they came out of the rock. I found them under a rock. <laughs> what? Russian babies spring out of ground like potato. What the fuck? <laughs> Here in Russia, babies made in dirt. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Mr. Mr. <laughs> Wanted me to show you the way to your room in the school dorms. Your very own private room, Aaron. Let's go check it out. I'm so fucking hyped. I'm going to show you my little Russian rock baby. I wonder if there's a way to uh, change your name. Mm -hmm. If I could, I would change it immediately to Aaron. That way we don't have yeah, to just see. Aaron. Aaron Bright all the time. While well, on the Discord stream is... Duh, 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 I'm having stroke. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> duh, 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 I'm having stroke. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm doing a pop-out window for Discord. It's still a black screen. What do you mean? There's... I'm, I'm doing a pop-out window for Discord. Oh. So I can see it bigger. Oh yeah, there is a... Oh, Red Joker says there's a way to change your name, apparently. Oof Ads also says Red Joker. Oh no, not the ads. Rip. Alright. From today on, this is your room, Aaron. Actually, it's a new to me. Actually, it's as new to me as it is to you. Never been in here before. Maybe check out your new bed. Little rock baby underneath it. Good, good fun, da. Oh, Look you're comfy. sharing a bed hatchet? Good to know. No, I'm just leaving my rock baby in here. You're taking care of the rock baby. 
<laughs> we already established that. I'm going to be deadbeat mother. Looks comfy. Oh, good damn it. <laughs> and you must be pretty worn out from all this stuff happening at your very first day, huh? A quick rest on a bed is all you'll need to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. And there was only one bed, says Bookworm. <laughs> I actually prefer to sleep on ground outside. Maybe that's where Rock Baby come from. Oh, oh I'll see you tomorrow, where you've rest when you've rested up. Then we can battle even more. Take care. Yes, battle. Fight. <laughs> The implications you just said, like, <laughs> I sleep on the grass, I mean, that's where Rock Baby came from. <laughs> the implications. I know what I said, shut up. <laughs> that's the whole point. Don't make pneumonia repeat herself. Uh... Not to go sleep on ground. Alright. Ah, uh, just like home in cool like. There might be an options. So, yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Uh, uh how to change Fred. your no name. Yeah, how do we change name? Also, uh, you probably missed that, uh, it is now established that, um, start over. Oh, god damn it, Red Joker. <laughs> damn it. Fuck you. Piece of shit. But yeah, I, uh, I guess you missed that, uh, it has now been established canon that, uh, Pneumonia's rock baby may or may not have to do with the fact that she likes sleeping on the ground at night. <laughs> And that's all that we can really say. That's all she gave us. That's It's been a couple days. I've been asleep for a couple days. Blame lips. Blame the ad break, lol. Ding dong. I'm assuming it's me, ding dong. Attention all students. Today oh. marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Place a symbol in the schoolyard, where I'll explain in more detail. Hello, yes, I am here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, yes, it's time. I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go out to schoolyard. I'm very excited. Rock Baby will have to wait. I'm not downloading software tools just to change my name. I don't want to destroy my Switch. This leads to the well, bathroom. Make sure to keep it nice and clean. <laughs> I can well, never enter my bathroom. Well, you are dumb as dirt, and I would know. What are you doing? I'm doing everything. I'm doing everything but go to you. Oh shit! Excellent day. We gotta go to the schoolyard. Director's orders. Where do you want to go? I can't. Why is the schoolyard all the way at the top of the building? <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh... <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's very. Uh, it's um. It's a uh, uh, schoolyard in Russia equal building top. Duh. Uh, <laughs> let's just, just, just go to school, Jack. The fuck? Excellent. Oh wait. Excellent. Oh. Well then, it's time that I explained your independent study assignment. Is he actually speaking in game? No. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. I ask each of you to set out and travel the world in search of your own treasure. You have all learned much within the walls of our fine academy. I was here for three days. 
But now it is time to turn your eyes upon the wider world. Fuck. Explore pal pa Parmesan's abundant <laughs> nature. Uh, discover the Pokemon that live here. And get to know the people too. Where will you travel? To the, the, of course, your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. You will journey together. Learn new things together. Share each other's thoughts and feelings. Like a good couple. And feel something you might always treasure. Find something you might always treasure. Like your rock baby. <laughs> I look forward to welcoming you all back. When you return to us to find young trainers. Let the treasure hunt begin. Onward. <laughs> also, um... The guy whose eyes kept vanishing was in the background and doing the same thing again. Oh god. <laughs> it was god damn it. <laughs> Why is your entire class an SCP? <laughs> SCP. Just... What the fuck is that? SCP-72027. Object class Peter. <laughs> anyway. Tomaya, it's cool. time for the great outdoors! Come on, Salazar's. We're riding out! What? I love him. Wait for it. I think something's gonna happen. Oh, We don't get to see it. I gotta get back in character. Take care, everyone. And remember, the great crater of Paldea is exceedingly dangerous. Entering is is a violation of school rules. Go everywhere but the crater. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for, Elrin Blake? Let's go. Okay, so that green Pokemon you like can turn into a motorcycle. Oh god damn it. The great yeah, crater Parmesan. <laughs> it's a big hole in the Parmesan loaf. Aaron, Aaron, go this way. We start rumbling together. The treasure hunt. It's finally starting. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, fair question. Since it's your first time, come on, let's walk and talk. My mannerisms are so cute. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to choose one of four paths to do. The treasure hunt is a huge part of the UVA Academy school year. The point is to get us all. What? That is a grammatical. Oh, hello, Festus. That is a grammatical. radical- Oh, hello, Festus. <laughs> Excuse me as I give head pet to Festus. He is a good boy. I love my boy. The point is not to get us all looking for s The point isn't to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure, necessarily. We're more just making our own adventures to see what experiences Barbajan's got to offer. You could try to be Pokemon gyms. You could help out with the people who need. You could hunt. Real capital T. Real capital T treasure if you wanted even. Oh my good Festus. Oh I love my Festus. There's stuff we never learn sitting in the classroom, you know? This is our chance to learn it. I love my cat. Plus, there's so many changes to battle, which is obviously perfect for me. Uh, no, so many chances to per chat to have pet check in there. <laughs> I have issues. Plus, there's so many chances to battle, which is per absolutely perfect for me. 
you, you and me for sure got a battle if we run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. Why are you such a dickhead? <laughs> oh yeah, that link can wait. And it will tell you. Oh, Festus, why are you dusty? What did you get into out there? Or is that dandruff? Are you a dandruff dude? Did you know your phone's map lets you set yourself directions? Destinations? Directions. Don't. Sets yourself directions. Yes, you can use your you can use your iPad to control your legs. That's how it works. <laughs> Here in Russia, we only control brakes. We only control talk. Look. Uh. You could try setting one of the gyms as your destination. That gets you. You on your way easy. How's that for a student council president? Giving your own friends an insider advantage. Wow, she just made a joke. Mm -hmm. she, she just made a joke about politics. I love it. <laughs> Ugly. I don't. I don't that is me. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's me. Gonna be about to speak now. Huh? Cause what did you oh, say, bro? I said I'm about to speak soon, because I do Arvin's voice. Oh, you're doing Arvin's voice? What stupid name should we give Arvin? Al Pacino. Nah. <laughs> it's, it's too much of a mouthful. For, like, how small his name is. Uh. Ravioli. His name is Alvin. <laughs> oh, wait, did Alvin say that thing about Insider Advantage? Yeah. Oh, okay, I missed that. That's Arvin, not Alvin. I said Arvin. You said Alvin for a moment. I know for a fact I said Arvin. I heard you say Alvin. Bookworm, we heard Don't Ad you... just say Alvin, right? Don't you gaslight me. I said <laughs> Arvin. <laughs> Let's see, so as of right now, we have Clavicle, Pneumonia, La Pangea, and Gollum. So who are we adding to the roster? Um, Alfredo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How do I spell Alfredo? Al Fredo. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Actually, no, I've got a better name. What? You'll, you'll find out when I say his name next. Okay. It's like the advantage? Just we'll make it sound like we're cheating or something. Hey, asbestos. All I did was suggest that she check out the gyms. It's up to her whatever she does. Yes, that is how this works, asbestos. Okay, Bookworm, have fun. Aaron Blythe, gonna have our hands full of searching out Titan Pokemon with me. I wanted to give him an annoying voice because he was very annoying at the beginning. I see. She doesn't have the time to waste on something like chasing after the champion rank. Me and her are gonna be too busy visiting layers of Titans and nabbing their Herba Mystica. Oh, while you were gone, I started theorizing the Herba Mystica is why Ash never ages because it said it it's uh, halters lifespans when they were when he was talking about it. So I was like, this is what Ash eats every day. <laughs> oh, so that's what was in those jelly donuts or whatever the fuck that were actually onigiri. Yeah. Sorry. Alright, I gotta do something real quick to so entertain the stream. Oh god damn it. Alright everyone, uh, this stream is now a Festus stream. Uh, you can't see Festus right now, but I can assure you that he is here. Uh, he is watching. He's always watching and listening. He knows all, sees all. He is a very good boy. We can hear you very loudly typing. 
They can't hear me on stream, they can hear me on Discord. Well, I, well I, yeah, we, me and Festus, we can hear you very loudly typing. I already established that Festus is here, and he sees and hears all. Also, I need to groom him sometime soon. Uh, I don't know if I like Asbestos. Hey, Arvin. Arvin. Arvin is his name. What should his dumb name be? Argon. Oh my. <laughs> he is Argon. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a metal. <laughs> and it's also an, an SCP classification. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, it's... It's it's technically above a polyon, but also not. Basically, it's a polyon level entity that if, you, if it's left alone, nothing bad happens. Ah. Argon is a chemical element with the symbol AR and atomic number 18. It is in group 18 of the periodic table and is a notable gas. Argon is the third most abundant gas in Earth's atmosphere at 0.934%. Oh, what mm. the fuck? Interesting. www. It was because I did not do the w dot thing. Fuck six, hold on. Can what I are you looking for? It won't let me. It's because I didn't grab the link. I typed the link. It's not like me. Grab the link. I typed the link. It's not like me. Fuck off, Twitch. I fucking hate Discord. Thank you. Dumb piece of shit. What the fuck is going on? I was posting the thing in the source of server because Chu told me to, and uh, and typing out the link doesn't work in Discord, but posting uh, the link does. Fuck you, Discord. <laughs> oh look, Spanish. Um, uh, I, uh. And zero. Don't go filling her head with weird stories. Wait, where he's standing, it looks like there's balloons coming out of his backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Very fitting for Argon. Yeah. Hey, all, all I did was fight her along. It's, oh. up, it's still up to Aaron it, where, where, whether she goes out, right? God. <laughs> <laughs> that name just destroys brain or that that voice just destroys brain cells his voice is that, meant to be annoying because he's an annoying motherfucker well the voice you're doing is a fucking scp at this rate <laughs> it's a fucking memetic agent that's slowly degrading the iq of people until they believe that iq is real Wait, that was more. That was more. Uh, that was more Terminator than it was. Uh, angry Russian sound. Vodki. Hmm. Aaron, right? Your phone's ringing. Oh yeah, this is the other person that hacks my phone to get me to do the Team Star thing. Cassiopeia? Cat. Okay. Um. Your A name. Cannoli. Cannoli. <laughs> okay, cannoli. <laughs> I like that. Let me add that to my list. We're just naming all the people basically Italian food. <laughs> oh, there's. Well, not really. It's a kind of... It's a uh, mixed bag, bag uh, at this point. Like, we've got Clavicle, Pneumonia, La Pangea, Gollum, Argon, 
and cannoli. Yeah, anyway. Hey, Aaron Bright. Cannoli here. It's about Operation Starfall. Remember what I told you before? Team Star is made of five individual squads, and each one of them, one of them's got their own base. I need you to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the squad boss there. Team Star's grunts might get in your way, but I'll be helping you out from a distance. And heads up, the bosses just specialize in different Pokemon type. Just remember the names of their crews, and you'll figure it out. Still no need to worry, with your skills, I'm sure you're more than up to the task. Just go ahead and add bases locations to your phone for you. Wait, the Poison Crew guy kind of looks like an, a guy from Naruto. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he looks like a guy from Naruto, just differently colored. <laughs> dude, dude, get a better hair hair color. You look like you covered your hair in bubble gum. <laughs> your hair is chewed up bubble gum, dumbass. That's not good. That's not good style. That's just gross. Oh yeah, you know how uh, I said I was gonna get food today for lunch? Yeah? It didn't happen because I got locked out of my bank account. Oh, <laughs> uh, what the f- what? How? <laughs> Apparently someone tried hacking into it because their, their servers were messing up, so m majority of bank accounts were locked as a safety precaution. And oh, shit. the bank's closed tomorrow because it's a Sunday. So Monday is the only day to go out and get one lunch. Uh, so yeah, I only had one meal today, and uh, the only meal that was in there was a small piece of cake. So that's all I had. Anyways. Oh uh, man, capitalism is such a good system. <laughs> You know it's a you know it's a really good system when someone has to literally skip meals or they fucking become homeless. Uh yeah. anyway. Good luck with those bosses. I'll hook up hook you up with some nice rewards each time you beat one. I almost said I'll hook up with you. <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> that was about to be really Wait. bad. Wait one second. Who are you supposed to be? And Team Star? The punks with a ser- Those punks are serious as it. They're not Aaron's problem. Yeah, this is probably where I have to choose which route I'm supposed to go. Yeah. I don't know what the route I'm supposed to do. Do I want to take out big Pokemon? Do I want to do gems? Do I want to take down Team Star? I don't know. Just just use your fucking memetic agent already. Oh, right. That's right. She's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me. I thought it was up to Aaron Bright to decide whether she goes or not. What's that? Wasn't that what you said, no, pneumonia and argon? How do you know mine? I'm looking forward to see what you can pull off, Aaron Bright. Bye. Yeah, by the way, she constantly hacks my phone to speak. Or I he. I, I, I really don't know. <laughs> Just go with they. Yeah, they. Oh no, my Festus left. What was that all about? Aaron, I'm glad you're making plenty of friends here. But try not to get dragged into anything dangerous. Anyway, no more weird vibes. We've got a big adventure to start. God, I love her. 
There's probably I'm porn of her. Of course, the, the, there's pro there was probably porn of her before the game came out. Actually, I don't think she was ever released in the trailer. Oh, was she? Oh, okay then. Yeah. I'm going to battle every single Pokemon trainer I meet. If I just keep trying to become the strongest, I bet that experience will be the thing I treasure. Yes, I'll start by heading to a gym and training up some new Pokemon. Here, I'll send you a pic of what the gym building will look like. At first it says, I'll send you a pic, and that didn't sound right. <laughs> get, get brain out of Gotham. If I was to send pic of anything other than gyms, it would be picture of Rock Baby. What is... Why does the gym just look like a building? Uh, like a, an office building. Yeah, it's an office building surrounded by palm trees in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> good. Very good. <laughs> oh, end. I know we've been running our mouths, but it's your call what you do, Aaron. Go where you want. Do what it is you really want. Want to do the most. A treasure of our very own. For me, that's gonna be my. er. big dr my big dream of tracking down Herba Mystica, that is. Once we get those herbs, I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you've had in your life. Oh yeah, his big dream is that he wants to have the best picnics ever. Like the host yeah, and was... everything. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, this guy kind of screams like... Like... Confectionery chefs to me. Chef to me. He just wants to host the best picnics. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Alright, what did you come out for? Oh my gosh, did it just come out because you said sandwich? <laughs> well, you're not getting one. It seems like it wants to start moving. It is telling you to get on. Oh, right. Oh my gosh, I'm about to ride oh. him. Wait, that sounds wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let a child ride a motorcycle-like creature without a license. <laughs> I think it's fine because the creature is the one that's primarily doing the driving. Like, it's it's an intelligent animal. It's not going to crash unless it's forced to. <laughs> Whoa, you transformed. Now it really looks like some kind of weird Silo cyclone. Cyclone. Long as you've got mirror, you <laughs> you can go pretty much anywhere. Parmesan's your what? Cloister. Cloister. Clo oh, that's a Pokemon. Yeah. By the way, Cloister looks like if you look at a different angle, it looks like a vagina. Yes. Yes, I know. I remember you pointing that out to me. But let's <laughs> never talk about this again. <laughs> it was totally intended for that purpose. Anyway. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Well, if you're gonna search for those Titan Pokemon, I'd say I'll set up for the East Gate. But since Eren is actually headed to take on some gyms, I'd say to go for the West Gate. Besides, it's way too easy to get lost out East. 